Alrighty guys, have you ever got an embarrassing breakup text? Well, neither have I, so we're gonna look at some ones that are meant to be next level savage today. Let's get into it, alright? Let's go. Alright, number one. Bitch. Ha, ooh, bad word. Ha ha ha. Wait. <laughs> I would laugh. Bitch. Ha. I've been called worse. Like, your girl... Mm, your girlfriend. Yeah, well, that one would have cut a little bit deep. <laughs> hey, that one's good. Do you still hate me? Yup. On a scale of one to ten. If I had a gun with two bullets and it was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and you, I would shoot you twice. <gasps> oh my god, I love these. If you ever had a bad breakup or just like a bad experience, you, you can probably relate. Why come out of it a little bit salty? Just, just a little bit. No, but that's fine. It's fine, guys. I heard you had the baby. Can you please see a bit? I can't wait until this baby grows up and one day she's like, Mom, what was the first bitch you ever sent of me to dad? Um, well about that, sweetie. Uh, here it is. <laughs> How jealous will you be once I move to LA and your ex-husband is a famous actor? Ha, then you will remember you had no chance. My mum is so excited for me. Well, good thing I have your very first autograph on a divorce certificate. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, why did he add his mum so excited? My mummy's really excited. I'm gonna be famous. Are you ever gonna grow up and talk to me? Okay, what would you like to talk about? I'd rather talk to you in person. Okay, I'll meet you in the Blockbusters parking lot. Blockbusters isn't even a thing anymore. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I miss video stores. I miss you. Ha ah, bye. Okay, that one's not that good. I just wanted to check on you to make sure you're okay with all the flooding. I'm sorry, this is a new phone. Who is this? Damn, that's cold. It's Joey. I drowned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's me. That's something I would say. Hey Taylor, I thought I just saw you typing on Snapchat. Actually, he's trying to block you. Oh no. I miss you. And I miss the Spice Girls, but sometimes... So guys, real quick, I have a fun challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. If you leave a like and subscribe to this video in the next five seconds, you'll receive 10 years of amazing luck. And I mean, who doesn't want 10 years of amazing luck? Because I do. Things don't last. Ah! These are like really savage. I'm gonna definitely write some of these down. Are you up? We haven't talked in like three weeks. I miss you and it's cold. I wish we could cuddle. Oh, trust me. If I was there, I would warn you right up for setting you on fire. Good night. <laughs> it's kind of scary because some people like in murder cases have like set their ex-partners on fire. So don't joke about it. Hey, my friend changed all my contact names. Can you tell me who you are? What does it say? Bitch. Oh, wow. And by the way, it's Caroline, your ex. Oh, I guess he didn't change this one. Okay, me. I, like, yeah, I used to change people's names. <laughs> hey, when I told you to come over and grab the rest of your stuff while I was in Vegas, did you actually steal one single, one sting, single pillow? The pillowcase was limited edition and now my bed set doesn't match. Sorry, I'll say all of your nectarines. Oh, I've got nectarines. Thank you. This just reminded me. I've got nectarines. Hi, how are you? I wanted you to know you're on my mind every day and I hope you're doing all right. Who is this? It's Matt. I know so many maps, that's crazy. Can I ask you a question? Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how high on glue are you right now for this very moment? Because I was thinking you got to be somewhere around an 11 or 12 to be texting me. <laughs> Call me back. Please don't contact me. I'm finally happy. I have a girlfriend who I care very much. We have nothing left to discuss. Yeah, and I have a boyfriend. I want nothing to do with you. Pull your head out of your ass. You're three months behind on your car loan and your uh, pending repo. That's all I wanted to know. <gasps> Oh my god, that's so awkward though, because like if my if an ex was like messaging you, you'd kind of think that, yeah, wow. <laughs> Don't jump to assumptions. If you're ever bored, I'm off tonight, hint, 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 hint. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please get back together? I would, but I just started watching Lost on Netflix. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a long and good series. Is it bad that I miss dating you? Is it bad that the only thing I miss about dating you was getting my food paid for? Oh! Boys have it rough. How's your day going? I pretend I know who this is, but I'm gonna be honest. You say to my phone as an eggplant emoji and I have no clue what your actual human name is. Would an eggplant emoji be considered bad? Oh, dick. I think it's calling him a dick. Poor eggplant, man. It gets stuck with all the bad stuff. Maybe an eggplant just wanted to be an eggplant. Do you ever think about that? I still want you. I know. I love you. Is your wedding day? You are drunk. Oh, yuck. That's really gross. I feel sorry for his wife. I'd be texting his wife. I'm not kidding. I'm really mad. Don't try to talk to me now. Wait, you're mad, but you texted me to tell me not to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Like shit long day of studying and doing stuff. Your finals. I'm stressed and could use some hot sex. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. 
I owe you, uh, I want to say 69. I owe you 96 dollars. Woolrich blanket and your bag and toothbrush. Cool. Plus the last three months of my life and an appetite and an STD check and emotional counseling, but who's keeping tabs? Uh. I know you're probably busy as well, but can you just say no? I have a car interview on Friday morning and I need some pants on. I feel like a dick asking, but I wouldn't know who else to ask. I wouldn't even pay. I'm sorry. That's just not even a possibility. I'm biased third party opinion. Would you rather live in Dallas or Atlanta? I could live in Mars and it still wouldn't be far away from you. Far away enough from you, I think is what it was meant to be worded as. Leave me alone, all right? And on that note, guys, that is the end. Well, let me know which one was your favorite because they were like a savage. I feel like the very first one, we started on a really good note. If you've ever sent any savage like texts to your ex, let me know down below in the comments and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.